I spent a lot of time consuming other people's content and watching other people live the life that I was desiring to live and not enough time actually creating it and bringing it into fruition. Hey y'all, welcome to uh, another video out here in these self-discovery, wellness, and healing streets, okay? <laughs> I am at the park right now and I've been playing around with recording my videos outside because one thing about me, one thing about me, I'm an outdoors type of chick, okay? Like I love to be in nature. I love for the sun to be on my skin. I love to spend my work days, spend my days in general, but especially when I can. If I can have a work day outside, I'll be outside the whole entire time okay so anyway i just wanted to kind of test this out i gotta step back a little bit because it's a little bit bright but i wanted to kind of just test this outdoor situation out see how it resonates with you i'm back with my phone is the mic um y'all know the vibes <laughs> i wanted to talk a little bit about what i learned during my 21 day consumption over creation challenge if you missed it and this is your first time hearing about it i challenged myself to 21 days of creating more than i consumed because what i found is that in my own journey of evolution and you know trying keep word trying i believe using the word try is another way that we self-sabotage because it's almost like subconsciously not wanting to fully commit so you say that you're going to try to do something so that way if you fall short you could just say that you tried instead of being like i did it and i failed to become the best version of myself what i found is that i spent a lot of time consuming other people's content and watching other people live the life that i was desiring to live and not enough time actually creating it and bringing it into fruition so i have a whole video already talking in detail about this and just about you know the parameters that i set for myself what i was doing to keep myself accountable um and just kind of go more into depth so if you want to learn more about it if you want to try the challenge out for yourself if you want to just hear me go into depth a little bit more definitely check out the other video i'll make sure that i put it in the description box or at the end of the video it'll be the suggested video so anyway child it's so crazy because i had been in a season of life for a while where i felt like i was ready for the chapter i was in to end and i was ready for the new chapter to start but i kept thinking that it was like something external was going to drop out the sky like god was going to do something that was just going to push me into this new chapter right not realizing that the new chapter i had all the power to step into it and that god had laid the foundation for me and i just had to step into it and so so what i learned over this time of creating over consuming y'all honestly i learned so many things i think the cool thing is aside from the stuff that i was able to create which i will talk to y'all a little bit about i also was able to learn what systems and habits work for me and what doesn't work for me and how i can use that information to just you know cater cater my experience to be ooh, big bees okay hey miss girl i don't know if y'all can see these bees but i guess they, they just gonna be part of the part of the video but so <laughs> did you see that like okay in this experience i created several youtube videos i recorded a lot of content i also posted some of that content i made my own Substack, which is something I had been wanting to do for a while. If you're not familiar, Substack is a newsletter type of platform. It's like Twitter meets blogs, if you will. That's the way that I would describe it because it's where a lot of people host their newsletters. You can have people subscribe to your newsletter. There's opportunities for people to pay to subscribe to your newsletter. You can do free subscriptions, whatever works for you. But then there's also a feed page where you can essentially just post notes, which are like tweets and their thoughts where you can just share whatever and be in community with the collective. And then, you know, it helps people to get back to your newsletter if they align with the content that you shared. And the thing is, I have been thinking about starting a Substack for a while and this challenge, it just, something just came over me. It was just like, do it, like do it. Now is the time. Okay, we straight. <laughs> something just came over me and was just like, just do it, lock in. And so I actually went out to this space near me that I really love to go walk and hike at. And I went all the way to the tippy top where there's benches and areas to sit. And I took my laptop. Y'all, actually, the first time I went, I just keep looking up because I hear these bees, but I'm not scared of them. I just, I'm just aware that they're there. The first time that I went, don't you know, I got all the way to the top of the hill, all the way up and realized I didn't have my laptop. 
And I said, okay, great. It's fine. But so what I did was instead of being upset about it, I just used it as an invitation to be present in the moment. I used it as an invitation to just be still and be inspired. And from that, I think I started um, just brainstorming some different things that I wanted to do on my phone. And I also just allowed the good, good nature of it all to heal me and, and level me and, and, you know, regenerate me. And so that was really cool. But then the next day or a few days later, I went back and I went all the way up. I made sure I had my laptop this time. Okay. I got up there. I was so inspired. I actually shot some content for reels or just like to have as B roll or whatever of me jumping rope and stuff. And just of me walking up and climbing the trail. Then I got to the top with my laptop. I wrote the whole Substack article, like my whole first newsletter. I didn't even know what the name of my newsletter was going to be. And I was worried about how I was going to, not worry, but I was like, I feel like a name is a lot of pressure, like a title, a name for a, a gift, a baby that you're putting out into the world is a lot of pressure. So I um, wrote the whole article. It just channeled through me and it just I was just in total creative flow. And then as I was sitting up there thinking about the name, I got inspired of the content that I had shot of me on my way up there. I'm like, wait a minute, this can be the new intro of me officially telling the world and most importantly reaffirming myself that I am stepping into a new chapter and I am deciding to tell a new story. It all just, my brain started going off like a pinball machine, like Jimmy Neutron vibes. And it just, I had a beautiful brain blast. And so I came back down from the hill. I was up there for hours. I came back down from the hill. The next day I continued to work on the Substack article a little bit. And then that's when the name hit me, a safe space with Kai, like that's it, a safe space. And I feel like the safe space is so in alignment because a safe space can be anything. A safe space is not limited to only discussing certain topics, right? So so there's room absolutely for me to discuss healing. There's room for me to discuss self-discovery. There's also room for me to discuss strategies that I'm using to help myself get to the next level all the things right and like I said it was in this moment of putting the bells and whistles on it that the the idea came to me of not only how I was gonna introduce on social that I had just started my first newsletter but also most importantly how I was reintroducing myself to the world for this new chapter which as you know maybe you don't know but as you should know this content that I'm sharing here on YouTube is a new and evolved version of myself I believe that we continue to evolve and grow and rediscover ourselves throughout life and so I have been just totally enjoying the process of being authentically myself not trying to force myself to fit into the box of what I outgrew not trying to force myself to fit into the box of what I think people want from me or what I in previous seasons of my life was known as when it came to my professional life and just really be and just share from the most authentic place of my journey being vulnerable being honest and being transparent and so everything is just aligning so that was a rant but the point is I started my first newsletter and that's been going really well. That also inspired me to create a broadcast channel on my Instagram, also called A Safe Space with Kai, where I can just share, you know, different information. My YouTube has been doing really well. I've been really enjoying the process of being in flow and I've been creating across Instagram some videos that I need to put on TikTok. I ain't been showing TikTok no love over the past couple of weeks, but... We're going to get there. We're going to get there. I think today is a day that I'm going to get back on TikTok for sure. Overall, I've done a really good job at creating more than I consume. And that has been going well for me. I stopped listening to music almost entirely. I want to say around day 16 or 17, I started listening to music just a little bit again. But that was honestly for inspirational purposes. I needed something as I was preparing for this event that was going to like put that battery in my back and have me feeling empowered and stuff. So I definitely did, you know, listen to a few bops. I also listened to you know, um, praise and worship music. Okay. And just allow myself to be in flow with that being gratitude, being praised to the most high. And that was really, really special. And now for what didn't work for me and y'all sorry if it feels like I'm kind of rushing through this. I low key have a meeting with a client in about an hour and a half. And so I got to start getting ready for that, but I really, really felt called to just record this video and share it with you. So, you know, we got to be out here, stay true to, to the mission, to the vision. Also, it might look like I'm sweating, but I'm not, it's just the sun kissing my melanin thank you <laughs> so 
for what didn't work for me. So one of the rules for me was that the only type of content that I would be consuming was from entrepreneurs or people who were living the lifestyle from a business perspective that I aspire to live or I don't even want to say living the lifestyle. People who had created the transformation in their own lives through their profession and through their building, building their own business that I aspired to live by. And what I found is that this didn't work for me the greatest. It worked a little bit, but there was definitely um, there was definitely some drawbacks. I feel like I am very sensitive to information. I'm very sensitive to energy. I believe a lot of people are. And so um, I still need to be really, really protective and, and, and um, intentional about what I allow to come into my ear gate, eye gate, right? What I allow myself to visually see and what I allow myself to hear. Because what I found is that some of the ways that people share how they got successful are not the way to not my camera battery dying i don't know where my other camera battery is i literally just had it a few hours ago so it can't be far but you know what it's fine it's not gonna stop the show so anyway what i was saying is that consuming other people's stories did not work as well for me as i initially thought that it would and i think that it's great to watch inspirational stories from other people on how they gain success and, you know, maybe what habits they do and things of that nature. It's definitely helpful. But for me, as somebody who is very sensitive to consuming information, I found myself in this space of subconsciously trying to achieve success the same way they did, which I mean, is to be expected, right? Because obviously you're consuming information about how other people are achieving success in hopes of achieving success for yourself. Just because hustle, 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 hustle worked for somebody else doesn't necessarily mean that it's going to work for you. And the thing about it is... Uh, when I say hustle, hustle, I don't mean I was watching people say, like, I had to get it out the mud. I was grinding. Like, I'm not even talking about that. I'm talking about very direct sales tactics that I was listening to people discuss that just for me didn't really resonate. It just felt out of alignment for me to be trying to push on to people to book with me, to book with me, to book with me. And again, different strokes for different folks, right? Like, there's different methods of success for everybody. And so I am an absolutely no judgment about what works for best for you get it how you live it okay all i can say is that this energy really didn't feel it didn't feel in alignment with my calling and it felt like um i was trying to force something and that really didn't work for me what i did discover over this time and i i'm just gonna put this out there take what resonates and, and leave the rest okay like if this resonates for you if you align with this then then you know keep listening and if you don't if you feel like this is something that you're not into that's okay too like it's all love no bad vibes right um so as i was deeper diving into my human design and understanding what that means just in terms of helping me understand how my brain works and how my how my brain works and how i um, and most successful how I receive information and how I'm most successful at putting it out into the world What I found is that the concept of like buy this buy this buy this do this book with me right now Like that whole concept just isn't aligned with me. It's not aligned with me on a soul level for many reasons human design is just um, One of the modalities that I have learned helps give me language for why it's not in alignment with me and so what I really found to be most fruitful during this season was authentically sharing my journey sharing teachings of you know wisdom that I have gleaned over this journey of life life and okay and just growing and evolving that's what's been the most impactful with community that's what has really resonated with people the most is less about what I do and how you can book with me and things of that nature and more with aspects of things that I'm learning on my journey, how I'm growing with God, how I'm transmuting pain and grief into purpose and that's been where I've been getting the most positive feedback. Another thing is I also was interviewed on my first podcast episode that was so exciting. Not my podcast, like I was interviewed for the first time on somebody's podcast and that was really really incredible. So, whoa. So, I will definitely link that down below for y'all to check out if you feel so called. The episode was about understanding God and grief and a prayer that I've had for a really long time since my life has kind of taken this course is that I will be able to share 
my journey for the purpose of helping or serving somebody else's. I wanted to be able to tell my story about not only what I've experienced and what I've been through, but how I overcame it and how I've been able to grow even closer with God, be the best version of myself and rediscover my authenticity through this space. And so being able to have a conversation, be invited to have a conversation about that on somebody's podcast, that was so, so, so incredible. Like I'm, I'm so deeply grateful for that experience. That was on a, such a time as this podcast. And then y'all, I also, I also, mm, God is so good. Let me just, let me just, let me just shout out God one time because God really is. You know when you be seeing people say like God is my manager? No lies detected. I also was invited to speak on a panel at Fully Bloomed Fest, which was so incredible, so incredible, so incredible. I feel so deeply grateful and honored that I was able to contribute to conversations around navigating through life's transitions around self-compassion having compassion for yourself and staying resilient around how to prioritize self-care and avoid burnout navigating friendships as an adult like all of the topics that i already are am talking about we, we blowing again all of the topics that i am already talking about on my own and on my own platforms wherever you find me or most definitely in real life being invited to participate in a panel discussion with other incredible women and share some of this wisdom with the audience and for it to be so well received was so soul affirming. Like there's not enough ways that I can really say thank you to the most high, okay? Thank you for that invitation that I received for this event and for the way that I was able to be rooted in purpose and operate in purpose for the purpose of serving somebody else's. Like. That is really what I feel my life's work is really here to do, is just to share and be a lighthouse for God's light, be able to share from the most authentic place of my journey, help other people navigate and find their way on their journey and just be in community. And so um, I feel really blessed by that. I also read Atomic Habits. I mentioned this to y'all. I read a chapter a day and that was really great to help me build in a habit of reading on a daily basis and just continuing to deepen in the habits of the woman that I desire to be and the woman that I am, right? Embodying her rather than trying to figure out how to become her, just embody her, taking those little steps. And so I, all this to say, overall this experience has gone really really well i'm super excited to see what the future has in store and i feel like this was a great experience to see what has worked well for me what hasn't worked well for me what i want to pour more into what i want to you know kind of avoid allow me to continue to spend time in devotion with god to get more clear on where it is that he wants me to go how it is that he wants me to contribute to to the world right and to the community and so yeah i'm really grateful and i just wanted to take a little bit of time like i said to just kind of run through how this has impacted me in a positive way and how all this work has been so aligned and i'm so 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 deeply grateful for it the wind is co-signing us thank you very much um and the most beautiful part is tomorrow is actually the four year anniversary since my dad transitioned back into the spiritual realm. He elevated on up to heaven's gates. And so for this chapter of my life to be marked by such a significant pivotal time period, I feel just so blessed, so honored, so affirmed. And so I'm so excited to continue to grow with everybody who is a part of this community, and wisdom and truth. Um, and continue to just rediscover ourselves, continue to evolve, to try things on, to shed what doesn't work, to nourish ourselves, love on ourselves. It's truly, truly a gift, okay? It is truly such a sacred gift and sacred act. And so in this next phase, I am diving deep, 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 deep into community. I pray that our community here can be fruitful and bountiful. And of course, whatever is in divine order, right? Whatever is in God's will. But I pray that this community can just blossom and um, multiply and that we can support each other. We can feel that this is a safe space truly to support each other on our journeys of discovering ourselves, support ourselves and honoring and making the 
best choices for our bodies and for our vessels so that we can live a more abundant and prosperous life and um yeah that's really all i got to say so thank you so much for tuning in if this is your first time seeing me hi i hope that you subscribe and come stay a while if this is not your first time hi i love you so very much and i'm so grateful to have you back you made it to the end of this video big ups to you okay i love y'all very deep and um the content is rolling the girls are in flow and i don't intend on leaving this flow state anytime soon so i will see y'all in the next video and um yeah child i gotta go to this meeting so let me stop acting like i got all day all right bye